Every three to five years, I do two things. I buy a new car, and I usually start up a new web business, so I'm gonna need a new domain for that web business. So um, when buying a new domain, there's a couple things that you can do to really achieve a really good deal for yourself and get that domain that you want. The most important thing is to actually try to make a personal connection, a direct connection with the seller of the domain rather than through a domain service. If you can do that, you'll be that much more ahead of the game. Um, most important thing, disarm the negotiation process. Try to find a personal bond with the seller of the domain. How can you, how can you befriend that person? even before you start talking about what the price of that domain is. Find, find a personal bond, a connection with that person. Then they're going to be that much more trustful of you. And that's a big important part with negotiations. Can you establish that trust level with that person? Because we're talking about a big part of your business and you really want to get the best possible deal for that, that buy. So one of the things that we talk about is how can you possibly, how can you come up with a deal? How can you come up with a deal that so you're, you're not going to have to put out hundreds of thousands of dollars in advance? Well, the most important thing is to say like, look, we're both starting something new. You make an investment in me and I'll make an investment in you. So you want to build up this sort of win-win mentality with that person. So and being a startup and trying to find a domain for a startup um, becomes a real challenge here. So what can you do? How can you craft something? One of the things that we've discovered is a really good process to do this is to say, look, as we grow and as we succeed, you'll succeed in our success. So a lot of people will say, well, is that based on the, on the percentage of profits that you make? And it's very hard to open up your books to somebody. So a very good suggestion about how to avoid having to open up your books is be public about your results. And with the web, it is a very public place, so you pretty much know exactly what your traffic numbers are. So a great way to do this is to the seller of the domain is to basically say, hey, let's do a royalty deal. You don't have to put any money up front. I can't put any money up front. Let's just base it on the amount of traffic that my domain, this new website, receives. So if it gets a million monthly active users, then my you know, the payment's going to be this. If it gets two million monthly active users, then the payment will be this. And you base it on a very reportable public database, such as Google Analytics or Comscore. Then there's no need to go into your books. Everybody doesn't, no one feels cheated. Everybody just feels upfront about what the, what the discovery process is. It's a lot, a lot cheaper and a lot less stressful, and you're more likely to get a much, a much more expensive domain than you ever thought you could actually acquire.